Hey, good morning. This is Hugh. Um, today I'm shooting my KT2400, which was originally built at Crossman, but then I've taken the whole thing apart, and changed the tube, went to a bigger barrel. I've replaced the uh, valve assembly, put on my, well, not mine, but Herd Hawks stock and four grip, and put my own choice of optics on it and a uh, TKO silencer. The other day I couldn't remember the name of the company that made these. It's TKO and they used to sell on eBay. They may still, I don't really know. So anyway, and it's 22 caliber and uh, I wanted to see what this thing could do under the perfect conditions. So it's like in the 80s today, which is perfect for CO2. And uh, we've got a fresh CO12 gram. See, I fired one shot, which was well over 600 feet per second. And we're shooting the PBAs, which weigh like 9.6 grains. So this is the optimum for this gun as far as FPS goes. Not so much about, you know, foot-pounds of energy or anything like that, because that's not going to be very good at all. But I just wanted to see what kind of speed it was capable of. So. I'm going to deliberately take my time because it's CO2, you don't want to rush it, especially if you're looking for good numbers as far as velocity goes. I took my time on that one and it was right on the, just barely inside the bullseye. So pretty good because I just had the scope off yesterday and put it back on and haven't made any adjustments on it. Okay, she's hitting right around 647, which uh, is considerably higher velocity than what I get with the uh, the heavier pellets. I'm just moving this closer because I'm not sure you're hearing the chronograph or not, so. Oh, that's unbelievable. She's hanging right at 647. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to switch this over to foot-pounds of energy. Okay. Nine. Nine. Two. Nine. 2. 9.2 foot-pounds of energy, which really isn't bad for a uh, small caliber pellet gun. But I can only imagine at 647 what we'd be getting if we were shooting like 14.3s or or the uh, heavy JSPs, which I think are like 15.89 grains or something like that. 
But actually, nine over nine point two is more than I expected out of pellets this night. Zero. Okay, so we point two foot pounds. Oh, okay. All right, now she's dropping, which is, you know, to be expected. This is CO2. I think what I'm going to do, give that a chance to warm up for that. I saw the air gun the other day, and I shot a string, and then I uh, had to do some other things. And it was warm out, and the gun was sitting there. And it was we were doing the crony, and it was amazing because the... Uh, just letting the gun sit there and warm up, the numbers jumped right back up again. I was really impressed with that. So that's why I'm always saying it. When you, if you're looking for good numbers and as far as FPS goes, you definitely don't want to rush it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. I'm not being real super careful on my aim. I'm just trying to keep them in the vicinity. I'm hitting uh, left of the bullseye. And I'm not really sure if that's me or the uh, or the scope. I just, you know, like I said, mostly I'm just concerned about the FPS today. But I'm going to turn it about 10 clicks to the right, and we'll see. we got one in the bullseye or on the edge of it. See if that helps. Yeah, about maybe 12 clicks to the right. Okay, wow. Well, looks like I had more over in this area than I did before. I'm still breaking to the right. I'm pretty sure that's me, though. So, anyhow, um, we're down to 8.6 on the foot pounds. I'm going to switch it back to feet per uh, FPS, feet per second. And I'm going to move the receiver down here. I don't know if it'll carry that far or not. I'm just curious to see if it'll work or not. And feeling kind of brave, I'll set it over next to the target there. Oh, yeah, we definitely hit them more than in the uh, bullseye. I'm assuming you weren't hearing this from down here. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll switch this back for my own purposes here to feet per second. Well, I'll take it back down here because I don't want to talk about this gun a little bit. Now, as I said, I I originally ordered this uh, KT 2400 from Cross Crossman Custom Shop, but then uh, for different reasons I had it apart a couple of times. Wanted to change barrel length. I had, I had gone with a 14 inch barrel and it wasn't real 
the only way I adjust this. Anyway, I wasn't really pleased with the, you know, shooting heavier pellets. I figured I needed to go with the biggest barrel I could. So I took it apart and I put an 18-inch barrel on it. Then we had a problem with the uh, valve assembly, which had never had a brand new gun. And I had left the CO2 in it a little too long. When I removed the piercer cap, there was the seal. Or no, I'm sorry. When I moved the cap and dropped the CO2 bottle out of it, there was the seal stuck to the end of the bottle. So we tried to put the seal back and re redo it, and uh, it didn't work. So anyway, I took it apart and put a new valve assembly in it. And uh, I had my email address from the Hughes customer on the tube from the custom shop, and so I, I thought, well, you know, I might want to sell this gun one day. So while I had it apart, I put back, I'll put a stock tube on it, you know, the main tube. So, basically, yeah, it was originally a custom shot gun, but then we changed the, the foregrip and the, and the stock, of course. And then I've added a sear trigger uh, adjuster kit and my own optics, so. And then, like I say, it's got the TKO silencer on it. So I, I don't know if you can even call it a custom shot gun anymore. I guess if you want to look at that your frame assembly then it's still a custom shop gun but it's really basically one of mine now because I've added a part and changed most of the main components on it so anyhow I gotta show you what just landed on the table here there he is big old June bug it's July he's running a little late he's got himself upside down so in closing, this is Hugh, and I've been doing some crony testing with the KT2400, and I think we maxed our foot pounds out around um, foot pounds energy around 9.2, which is pretty cool because we're shooting a really light pellet of about, I believe, um, 9.6 grams. I don't know, I have to look it up. But uh, anyway, uh, it's hotter than heck, so I'm going to call it a day and get back inside in the air conditioning and we'll try this again later on. Hey, shoot safe. Have a good day. Stay safe. Take care.